Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a huge affordable clothing haul. All of these pieces are from Forever 21. You guys know that I like to go on their website every few weeks and just kind of do a one huge haul from them just to kind of catch up on any basic pieces or trend pieces that I don't want to spend a lot of money on. So if you guys are new to my channel, I'm really into fast fashion. I like to invest in certain pieces that will get me through years of wear, but for everything in between, I really believe in fast fashion. So I usually shop at Zara, H&M, Urban Outfitters, Forever 21, everything like that. So today's whole video is a huge Forever 21 haul and I feel like I got really good quality pieces and I am excited to show you all of them. Let's just jump right into it. Okay, so I just got this package and I didn't wanna open anything. I wanted you guys to see my first reaction. The only thing that I did open was because I wanted to wear it yesterday was this sweater, which I think might be my favorite piece from the haul. I'm not really sure because I haven't seen everything yet. So it's this really soft gray marled sweater. What I love is that it has um, ties on the sleeve so you could leave them hanging or you could kind of wrap them around and tie them that's what I did yesterday and it looks so cute because it kind of made like a flared out sleeve don't worry I'm gonna do a try on haul because I know it's hard to tell this sweater was $22.90 I think it is great quality it is so soft it fits so well I like that it's a little bit cropped but the sleeves are super long I just wore this tucked into high-waisted jeans yesterday and I thought it looked really cute so for $22.90 this is a great sweater Okay, so next is this really cute kind of tan waffle knit sweater. What I love is that it's cropped as well, and what I love is that the sleeves, it's just a wide sleeve, so it doesn't go like in at the end or anything. I think this is a great color to wear with like flax, jeans. Once again, this feels great quality. It's so thick and luxe. This is from their Contemporary line. I got a size small, it's $24.90. It's like the perfect situation where I think that Forever 21 is a great resource because these are great sweaters that look expensive. No one can tell the difference and you're not spending all of your money on them. So next up is this really cute knit tank top. What I love is that it's high neck. It has this lace up detailing on the bottom. I thought that this would be so cute just as a layering piece. You can wear a long sleeve under it. You could pair this with leather leggings. This is also great for people who live in a warmer climate but also want some new knit pieces since it is a tank top version. So this was $22.90, I got a size small. I'm really excited to see how this looks on. I just thought it was simple and cute but it could look expensive if you style it right okay so next up if you guys saw my back to school clothing haul you saw that I had basically these exact jeans from Urban Outfitters that I really really loved and I was so sad to return them but they didn't fit right and they took so long to get on because they were like that wax coating material but it was to the point where it's like I couldn't wear them they were just way too tight on me so I re returned them so I saw these on Forever 21 I got a size 26 I still haven't tried them on yet so I'm hoping they're not too big but it's a wax coated jean with this lace up I love I've I've been really wanting a pair of pants with this lace up. I think they're really cute. I like that they're super high waisted and that they're very skinny. So I'm hoping these will look cute. And these jeans can kind of go with any of the sweaters that I bought tucked in. I feel like that's a really cute look. I feel like leather pants really can take your outfit to the next level and just kind of adds like more of like a fashion element. Oh, and I'm not sure if I said the price of these. So I got a size 26 and they were $24.90. The ones from Urban were 70. So these were like a fraction of the cost. So I'm just hoping that the fit is right. Okay, next up I got another pair of jeans. I feel like that I'm, I always live in my two pairs of Levi's denim, which I love, and they're super light wash. So I did kind of want like a nice medium wash. What I love about these is that they're very, very high-waisted, and I also like the end. They have the zipper at the bottom. Once again, I think any sweater can look cute tucked into this. I got a size 26. They were $29.90. They feel really good quality. They're nice and thick, but they also have like a nice stretch to them. Next up, I got another sweater. I live in sweaters this time of year. I forget the name of this fabric but it's like that really soft fabric it kind of even feels like velvet I got a size small this was $19.90 I got it in the black color just to kind of go with everything I like that it's cropped and fitted I feel like this would look really cute with jeans or leggings anything and this is just such a sweater that I could wear like day after day and no one would notice it's just as long as you style it differently and it is beyond soft even for travel this is just such a good sweater Okay, so next up I got this really cute graphic tee. I don't think this is a Forever 21 brand. The tag says s and I gotta say small, there's no price on it, but I paid $8 for it. I feel like this shirt could be really cute tucked into high-waisted jeans, tucked into high-waisted leather leggings, and then you could pair it with a denim jacket over it or a leather jacket on. So I thought for $8, this was just like such a cute little pick-me-up and it's something different and it's just good to like layer under your fall jackets. This is actually a perfect jacket that you could wear over that t-shirt that I just showed. So this is like a really cool leather jacket. What I love is like all these grommets on the side. I think it is so cool and like edgy looking. I actually purchased this in hopes that it would arrive so I could wear it on Halloween, but it didn't. So I had to change my whole Halloween costume, but I got a size small. I came out to $42.90. 
I like that it's not it doesn't look super small or cropped I feel like it might look oversized so I'm excited to see how this looks quality wise and if I decide to keep it or not I love that it also has a belt on the side I love leaving those open I feel like they look really cool and edgy Okay, next up, I'm actually working on an event in November in um, Miami, and you have to wear pink. It's like a whole rosé themed party, so I needed like a pink dress, but I found a pink two-piece set, and I thought it was really cute, so this is the top. It's like light pink sparkle. I thought this was really, really cute. I'm hoping it will fit good. So this is the top, and then it comes with a pencil skirt. I've been really into two-piece sets. I just think it's like really cool, and it's just like different from a dress. This was a little bit expensive. There's no tag. Let me check the receipt. So for both these pieces, it was $48, so it's not a Forever 21 brand. It's one of their other brands that they sell on their website. So I'm hoping this will fit good because it's super cute, and I also thought that I couldn't also wear it again on Valentine's Day or something, like a wedding or a dressy occasion because I think it's really cute and different. It also came in gray if you're into gray. Okay, so that's it for the clothing haul, but now I'm gonna move on to accessories. I have a few accessories to show you guys. So starting with shoes, I really wanted like a light color boot, like either like a nude or a gray. So I saw these online, I figured I would try them. They were $34.90 and they're just like a suede material. They're light gray with like a black heel. I feel like these would be so cute tucked into like, not tucked in, but like when the boyfriend jeans kind of hang over them with like a cute light colored sweater on top. I've been really into like all light colors in one outfit. Um, so I think that these look cute. They don't look that cheap. They don't feel that cheap. So I'm definitely going to try these out. I got a size 7 if you guys are curious. Once again, $34.90. Okay, so next up I got this really cute handbag. It does come with a long strap on the inside. I've been really into red lately, and also I feel like this looks like really good quality. I love all the grommets on the bottom. I think it's just so cute and sleek. I'm pretty sure Urban Outfitters had something that looked exactly like this. I didn't see it in the red color though. I thought red would be so cute with like a pair of boyfriend jeans, a white t-shirt, black leather jacket, just something different, and it was so affordable, so I figured why not have fun with the color. It was $22.90, so I really wanted to go with something bold and different from what I have. Okay, last but not least, I got a pair of sunglasses. I'm the type of person, like, I feel like I buy a pair of sunglasses, wear them, like, nonstop, and then I get sick of them, so I want a new pair. Um, but these came out to $9.90. I think they are so cool and different. It might be hard to see because they are reflective, but they're rose gold and gold. Like, the rose gold frame with gold. Gold frame with rose gold reflective frames. Wow. Uh, you get the point. They're rose gold and gold. Um, but I love the shape of them, and I'm excited to try them on. I would try them on, but there's like so many tags. I feel like you guys won't even get um, get to see what they really look like. But since everything in this haul is extremely new, I just got this package in like two days ago. I'm hoping I could link everything down below, and I'm hoping that everything is still in stock. This way, if you guys like any of the pieces, you could shop them directly from my bio. Just trying to make it easier for you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this haul. Please let me know down below in the comments which item was your favorite and if you would like to see me style it or do like a different kind of lookbook. Anything you guys want to see, leave it down in the comments and I promise I will try to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. It really means the world to me. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video.